Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Yang Yang TT. Are you born a table tennis player, or do you train to become a table tennis player? Do you have what it takes to become Olympic champion, or do you train to obtain the abilities to become the world champion? But one thing I could be sure is, whether you have talent or not, to be a better player or top player in the world, you have to practice hard. So, what is a Thailand table tennis player looks like? They have a great feeling. Their body is flexible and built for their spots. Their strokes looks natural and smooth. They have a quicker reaction. They know how to focus on opponents and set up a tricky placement. They are good at planning game strategies and so on. But what if? We don't have all-round talent to become a champion. Can we still pursue our goal in table tennis? The answer is yes, yes. Not all the top players are born with all-round talent. If you devote your time and energy in table tennis, I'm sure you could overcome your physical limitations to excel out in this field. In this video, I'd love to introduce you three tips that you could train yourself to become a great table tennis player, even if you are not born with all-round talent. Without further ado, let's jump into the lesson. If you are going to be the best in table tennis, you have to fully commit yourself to these spots. So please click on the right. Subscribe button down below to follow my YouTube tutorials. You will learn a lot from here. Yep, are you fully committed to table tennis? And how do you show your commitment? How often do you train? How hard do you train? How badly do you want to reach to the top? Ask yourself those questions. Then you will figure out if you have a fully committed or not. To become a great player, you have to sacrifice your lecture time. Instead of staying at home watching TV or playing at park, you will need to train under hot weather and practice hard. You have to sacrifice money. Instead of buying expensive clothes, you will need to find a training coach. Fully commitment always comes with sacrifice. It depends on how much you want to sacrifice and use it to exchange your goal. There are different planning styles that might be better suit for you just by judging your abilities. You might find yourself have a quick reaction and a great footwork. So fast attacking style will suit for you. You may find yourself have a great touch and good at defense. So you may better become a chopper. Different players have different shape and size. We have to put our special abilities into the right box and optimize them. Develop your own personal style. Let the things that you are good at lead you to your success in table tennis. Talk to your personal coach or ask me with your comments to find the best suitable play style for you. As Will Smith said, the separation of talent and skill is one of the, 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 the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who are trying to excel, who have dreams, that want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. Nothing comes for free, and practice makes perfect. There's one saying that it takes 10,000 hours through before one can truly be an expert at this field. Chinese national team is training with USA national team in Los Angeles right now. Do you know how many hours they train per day? I was completely shocked when I first saw their training schedule. They first meet at 7.15 a.m., have a breakfast until 8. Started training from 9 a.m. Two hours technical training plus 40 minutes physical training in the morning. 
Then they will have lunch and take two hours break. Back to training for one and a half hours at 3.15 p.m. Have dinner at 5 p.m. and take two hours of technical trainings again at 7 p.m. and go to bed at 11 p.m. Totally 400 minutes, almost 7 hours training per day. We know only Thailand players can be selected to Chinese national team. For those Thailand players, they still practice so hard. So don't ask me why Chinese players are so strong. Now you know how much they put into these spots. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope all of you who think you are not born for table tennis, don't give up. Make a commitment. Find your personal play style and just practice. I'm sure you will achieve your table tennis goal in the future. Good luck! I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!